What's up guys? This video is going to be about me using slash slightly reviewing uh, this camera that was sent to me by 6mega.com. I'm very, ex oh, almost dropped it. I'm very excited to do, to do this. So yeah, 6mega.com sent me this camera. It is called the SJ, hang on, I'm gonna screw this up. It is called the SJ6 Legend 2.0. 2.0 is the important part. Not only is this the SJ6 Legend, but it's that times two. So now you know. So I actually haven't used this yet. The only thing that I've done is put it in this little protective case. So I'm gonna turn it on here and uh, I'm basically going to strap it to my face and uh, do some skate tricks. Ooh, it looks really cool. Can you guys see that? Kind of out of focus, but hey, hey, there I am. See, so yeah, I'm gonna strap it to my head, uh, do some skate tricks, and uh, you guys are gonna see some point of view skateboarding. I hate to do skateboarding excuses, but I totally have like a horrible shin splint in my left leg shin right now. So that, that really sucks. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to do, but I will try to do some good stuff. Then after that, I'm gonna tell you guys my thoughts about the camera and uh, it will be great. Okay, so let's do this right now. Okay, I'm back, sitting here for you. Okay, so first things first. The first thing that I noticed about the camera is that when I put it to my head right here, um, I don't really notice that it's even there. Like it's super, super lightweight. Uh, the GoPro is also lightweight. Um, the thing that is awesome about this camera in comparison to the GoPro is that it's half the price. If you're like me, price is a, a big thing. You wanna buy something that's high quality, but you also want to not spend like a ton of money. Uh, I believe the GoPro Hero 5 is like, 400 something, this is 220, I believe, 200 something. Um, so that's way cheaper, and uh, as far as video quality goes, I think it's fantastic. I just looked through it on the screen, um, and I think it's great. It records in 4K, that's not what you guys just saw. You guys saw 1080, 60 frames a second. Um, I usually film 720, 60 frames a second, which is what I'm filming on my DSLR right there. But for, for like this little Lego block, I think that's like super, super good. I never really use action cameras to begin with, honestly, but uh, I'm actually really impressed with this one so far. I really like this housing device, this little plastic cereal box that it's in right now, because it's not too bulky like I the last GoPro I had was a Hero 2 and it was super bulky but that was also like the Hero 2 and I had like an attachment screen on it this obviously has a screen to begin with and uh, you can touch it through here like the, this case is touch screen approved did that make sense going through clips was really easy I just hit the play button and I swiped over and uh, I could I could you know see my clips not swiped over press the little arrow button that's how you see all your clips really the only thing that I noticed that I could potentially complain about because I want to be honest with you guys is that it was kind of buggy like the camera didn't like bug out or anything but when I was trying to fast forward I would fast forward a clip and then I wanted to play it at a certain moment while I'm fast forwarding um, and it wouldn't let me click the play button so that kind of that, that, it's not really a huge deal. All I have to do is turn it on and back, or off and back on, and uh, it fixed it instantly. But that was the only thing that I noticed. Other than that, I, I have no complaints. I'm gonna be using this way more often. I wanna do like a trampoline skateboarding video uh, and have it to my head, because uh, I totally did it while trying to hold the DSLR while tramp skating, and it didn't work at all. So I think with this, it would be way more fun. As far as audio goes, obviously the housing case right here is going to limit the audio, but that's kind of to be expected. That's how most action cameras are. And when you take it out and film with just the camera and no housing device, it's obviously way better because the housing device just cancels out a lot of sound. Um, but yeah, like the audio was really not that bad. So my final review of this uh, would be, I, I, for the price, I think it's fantastic. Five out of five for the price. Um, so if you guys want to get one of these for yourself, you can go to 6mega.com. Once again, this is called the SJ6 Legend 
2.0, I had to look at this to make sure I said that right. Uh, I'm gonna include a link in the description where you guys can buy this. And also, this is great, I have a discount code you guys can use called Tabor 10. You type in Tabor 10 in the discount area when you're checking out and it'll give you 10% off of this product. And uh, that's, that's just great. Actually, it's off your whole order. I just remember that. It's off your whole fruit stinking order. So that's awesome. Once again, Six Mega, thank you so much for sending me this. I'm definitely gonna be using this more often, like I, like I said before. I can do like point of view eating cereal with this if I wanted to, it's great. I've always wanted to do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell, all that great stuff. Do the hokey pokey, anything you want. Click the link in the description like I said and that is officially all I have to say. I'm gonna put on the box that this came in. Okay, I give the box a three out of five. Goodbye. You see something cool? <laughs> Are you impressed? <laughs> dude, I'm counting it. That was, dude, you, you literally fought it like four times. I'm in grass, you know? You were literally in grass.